Hello everybody, Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I got a, today's a fun, fun day. Uh, we want to make sure that we keep safety first even though we're having fun. What I have in my hand is a lead ingot, a very thin lead ingot. I'm going to do a shot today. Um, actually I was supposed to be using a silver dollar but I didn't have one. So I poured a very thin lead ingot. I'm going to set it down range on a piece of wood. I'm going to take this coffee can and I'm going to place it on top of the lead ingot. From here, I'm going to take this water and I'm going to fill the coffee can with water and then I'm going to cover it with this lid. Then I'm going to go back to the truck and I'm going to shoot this with the 30 out 6. When I come back, I'm going to look at this can. Preferably, uh, more notably, I'm going to be looking at the bottom of the can. Because what's supposed to happen is because of all the water trying to escape the can and it can't escape fast enough, they're supposed to produce like a hydraulic type pressure in the can. And on the bottom there should be an indentation matching the item that you placed underneath the can which in our case is going to be that lead ingot. Now normally they say to use a silver dollar. But uh, that's what the plan is and we'll see how it works. So I have that down. I'm setting down my can. I'll fill it with water and then we'll take a look. Okay, so there we have it. We have the water in there. Now I'm going to place the lid on. Now normally I don't think you would have to have the lid. I'm simply adding it because I think it'll help add to the amount of hydraulic pressure in the can. So now I'm going to go back to the truck and we're going to shoot this baby and see what happens. The rifle that I'm going to be using for this shot today is a Remington Model 1903. I'm going to be using a reloaded 30 out 6 150 grain Nosler ballistic tip bullet. I'm pushing it with 48 grains of IMR 4064 powder. Now I'm going to zoom in to the target downrange. And hopefully I'll get a well placed shot. Here we go. Looks like I have a direct hit. Let's go take a look. So I'm walking up onto the target. Well, I can see that my ingot is still on the wood. Can's blown into pieces. We have a small indention on the bottom, not as significant as I thought it would have been. But it definitely blew that can up. Wow. It's kind of weird because uh, I'm curious where the bullet went in and where it came out because I thought maybe it would have went in here and came out. I must have hit it like I must have grazed it along the side of the can or something. But that's what the shot looks like. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day. Bye bye. Okay, I'm back. I have another can down there. I'm going to do the shot again. But this time, I added a 2x6 on top of the can. And I put a big heavy rock on top of it. Hopefully what this will do is this will make the water a little more 
difficult to escape and uh, what I'm hoping for is that it'll increase the hydraulic pressure and give us a better stamp of the piece of lead underneath the can. So let's try this shot. Same bullet, same gun. Hopefully I'll get a well placed shot. Here we go. All right. Let's go take a look. All right, let's see what we've got here. Let me move this rock out of the way. Wow, it broke the frame and everything. <laughs> Have a little bit better of a stamp. In fact, you can kind of see the letters a little bit. Boy, that put a pretty good stamp on it. Did the same thing to the can. Looks like it broke our wood when the rock fell. There's our ingot. That's interesting. It put, it put a pretty good little stamp on the can. That's a neat little trick. Cool shot. Well, everybody, I want to tell you thanks for watching my video. I hope that this was fun for you to watch. Feel free to leave a comment and also feel free to subscribe. And remember, if you go out and you do shots like this on your own, please be careful. Yes, they're fun, but you have to be careful. So again, thanks everybody. Have a good day. Bye-bye.